Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw with Rob with me Rob Biddulph. Now I am a children's author and illustrator maybe you've seen some of my books have you seen this one it's called show and tell school has never been so fun it's all about some school children who bring in lots of crazy crazy things for show and tell and um it's a really fun one that was a fun one to write hope it's a fun one to read um you might have seen my newest book here called Dog Gone, all about Teddy the pug who accidentally loses his human one day while out on a walk. And again, that was a really fun one because I got to draw, look, I'll show you, I'll show you very quickly. I got to draw lots and lots and lots of doggies with their humans. So that was a really fun one, including my brother. Look, oh, he made an appearance. Oh, look what he's doing. Ugh. <laughs> that was fun to do though, <laughs> I must say. Right, we are here today to do a drawing together, aren't we? And did you know that this coming Friday, uh, the 12th of February, 2021, is Chinese New Year? Now, who knows about Chinese New Year? Do you know what they do? Every year they assign to a different animal. So they have lots of different animals. They have 12 different animals that each get a year and it kind of goes around in a circle. So they have the rat, the ox, the tiger, the rabbit, the dragon, the snake, the horse, the sheep, the monkey, the rooster, the dog, and the pig. Now, do you know what? We have drawn nearly all of those animals at various points in our Draw With Rob videos. So we have drawn a rabbit, we've drawn a dragon, a snake, We've done, have we done a horse? We haven't done a horse. We've done a unicorn, haven't we? It's not quite a horse. We've done a sheep. We've done monkeys. We have done a dog and we've done pigs. So there's only a few that we haven't done. And do you know what? 2021 is the Chinese year of the ox. So I thought today to celebrate New Year, this coming Friday, I would show you all how to draw an ox. So an ox is basically, it's like a, it's like a bull. It's like a male cow. So I'm gonna show you how to draw an ox. Are you ready? What you're going to need is a piece of paper. You are going to need a pencil or a pen, something to draw with. And that's it. About half an hour or so this is going to take us. If you haven't seen any of these videos before, this is how it works. I am going to show you how to draw this particular animal, this ox, a little tiny bit at a time. So I'm going to draw a shape on my piece of paper, pause the video, copy exactly what I do, start me up again, I'll draw another bit of the drawing, a little tiny shape or a line. Pause the video, do exactly what I do. Start me up again, I will draw. Stop me, you draw. I draw, you draw. I draw, you draw. Until we finished, until we've got a lovely picture of an ox to celebrate the Chinese year of the ox. Okay, are you ready? Let's start then, shall we? I want you to start with quite a big shape. We're gonna draw, basically, it's gonna be like a rectangle, but it's gonna have rounded corners. So it's gonna be tall and thin, this rectangle, so it's gonna be kind of portrait shape, and about that sort of size. But can you see what I mean? Rounded corners. So we need to leave a little bit of space at the bottom and a little bit of space at the top. But apart from that, nice and easy. Okay, now towards the bottom of this rectangle, I want you to draw another rectangle within it, but I want there to be a little sort of dent in the top of that rectangle. Do you see what I mean? So it comes up, goes down and up, and then goes down the side like that. So it's sort of a shape within a shape, right down the bottom of our piece of paper. The next thing to do is about two thirds of the way up our original rectangle, I want you to draw two circles. One, two. Don't worry if they're not perfect. I always say this, don't I? I feel like I'm repeating myself, but your drawing does not have to be perfect. Mistakes are good. We like happy accidents here at Draw with Rob HQ. <laughs> okay, two little circles, and we're gonna draw two more little circles that we'll color in and put right in the middle of those. And look, we have made a pair of eyes. I'm just gonna take my thinner pen and I'm gonna add three little eyelashes at the top of each eye. Just like that. And this bit down here, believe it or not, this is gonna be our ox's sort of nose. And we need to give 
we need to give him a couple of nostrils. So do you remember how I do nostrils? What we do, we first of all, we draw two little circles, a bit like the pupils that we just color in. But then I want you to add like a little swirly bit coming out like that. Okay, and we're gonna do a mirror image on the other side. So we're gonna come out this way this time, swirl around. And they are gonna be our ox's nostrils at the bottom of his face. Okay, time to add some ears. Now I want the ears, we want them to be level with the eyes, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to draw two little lines coming right out of the side of his head, like that. Let's do the same on this side as well. We'll do each ear, each bit of the ear on each side together. So two little lines coming out like that. Then I want you to draw a big leaf shape. It's gonna come up and around and then go back up and join up on the other side. And that's gonna be our ox's ear. Let's do the same over here. Try and keep them roughly the same size if you can. Don't worry too much. It's not the end of the world if they're not. Okay. Then I just want you to add a smaller leaf shape inside. Just like that. Now you might be wondering why I've done the ears right down here on the side of the head. Well, that's because I needed to leave some room up here to add probably the most, the ox's most famous body part, the horns. So we need to add some nice big horns to our ox. This is how we do it. Sort of towards the right, towards the top of the head, I want you to draw a horizontal line, about two centimeters long, like that. Then we are gonna turn around and we're gonna head diagonally up towards the top of the page, about that far. Then we're gonna change direction and we're gonna go right back around here and sort of curve around a little bit like that. But the important thing is we have a nice sharp corner up here. And then from this point, I want you just to go straight back across and join up to the head. And there we go one of our ox's horns. Let's try and do exactly the same on the other side, a mirror image. We're gonna come out, we're gonna go up diagonally, we're gonna turn around, come back down, curl around, and join up with the head. I really like it when I get these kind of brush mark bits, because I use these brush pens, these Kurataki brush pens. Lots of you ask me which pens I use. These are Kurataki Japanese pens. And I really like it when you get the brush marks like that. I think it really adds to the drawing. And actually, brush work is something that is very big in China. They use lots of lovely brush calligraphy in China. I went to China actually on a book tour a couple of years ago. I went to Shanghai and I went to Beijing and I had the best time ever. And I was with lots of really lovely Chinese people who were showing me the sights. And, um, and I saw lots of lovely um, Chinese um, calligraphy in action. And it's absolutely beautiful. These people were masters of their brushwork. And I think, I think that's what really, uh, that's what made me start to buy brush pens to do my own artwork with actually, because I really, really loved what they did there in China. And the Chinese writing um, is so beautiful. I love it. I'm gonna have a go at um, writing the word ox in Chinese later. I'll show you the symbol for ox and um, hopefully it'll go well, who knows? Anyway, where was I? Yes. So there we go. Now, what the next thing to do is we're gonna add just a little, few little lines right at the top of the head, like that, to give our ox a little bit of a tuft of hair there at the top. And let's add a couple of eyebrows here. We're gonna add one there, one there, like that. Okay, now we need to draw our ox's body. Now we're gonna, I think I'm gonna do our ox sitting down, actually. So the first thing to do is his front legs. These are nice and easy. We're just gonna draw two rectangles coming down like that. So one there and one there. It looks like they're coming out the bottom of his chin, but actually they're sort of behind the head, if you see what I mean. Let's give him some hooves. Hooves are made like this. We just do two little lines coming down like that, and then we join them up with a slight sort of kink in the middle like that. So remember, two little lines and a slight kink in the middle. And there we go, two front legs. Let's, they're quite big animals, oxes, so we're gonna give them quite a big tummy, and the tummy is just gonna be a bit of a circle. It comes down here, goes behind those legs, and carries on around this side. Like that. 
Remember I said we're gonna do our rocks sitting down. So let's draw his back legs. Now the back legs, we're gonna do a curve that comes around there like that. And then we're gonna do similar size to the front legs, but they're gonna be coming out at an angle like that. One there, and then let's do one on the other side, exactly the same. So a sort of circular bit, and then the legs are just sticking out like that. And let's draw the little hooves in exactly the same way. A little bendy bit in the middle. One, two, there we go. Our rocks sitting down. The last thing that we need to draw is a tail. So we're just gonna do a little wiggly line like that with a sort of leaf shape on the end that we color in. And that is gonna be our ox's tail. Now then, it's time to color. So this was a nice quick one, I think. Um, it's, it's amazing, isn't it, what you can do with quite, you know, not many lines really, a few lines, a few shapes here and there, and you can create a little character that has got its own little personality. I really like this ox. So then, as I said, they're basically like male cows. So you can do your ox any color that you see a cow. So some lots of oxes are drawn sort of dark brown. You can do a light brown one, or you know you know the rules here with Draw With Rob. You can do anything you like. We don't really have rules with coloring, do we? You can do a bright pink ox, if you like, or a bright blue one, it doesn't matter. In fact, the brighter the better, that's what I say. I think I'm gonna do mine sort of black and white, like one of those black and white Frisian cows, but an ox version. So I'm gonna add a few little sort of patches here and there. I don't know why, I just fancy doing that. So shall I tell you what? I will see you back here in about 30 seconds as I go into super speed mode to color mine in, okay? You ready? Here we go, three, two, one, go. So there we go, there is my coloured in ox. What do you think? Do you like it? I've added a bit of grass behind, as you can see. I just thought the green would be a nice contrast to the sort of the purpley colours I've used in my colouring there. Let's just add a little bit more dark shadow really close to those areas of my ox that touch is touching the grass, just to make him stand out a little bit. So yes, remember I said it's the Chinese New Year and Chinese Year of the Ox is um, from the 12th of February, next Friday. So I am gonna have a go at writing the word ox in Chinese. Now I think this is how you do it. I've got my nice brush pen. I'm gonna come down like that. And then I think you go across like that. We're gonna go across with a shorter line and then just a little bit like that. And there we go. That's how you write the word ox in Chinese. So there we go for the Chinese year of the ox. A little drawing of an ox. I need to sign my name down here. Here we go. I'll write my full name. Rub it off. There we go. A picture of an ox. Now I hope you've had a nice time drawing this. Hope you've got on well. I can't wait to see your drawings. All your different coloured oxes. Oh, I'm just going to finish that off. I've noticed a little gap. Um, you'll see some of my colouring. Look, I was colouring quite quickly today and so I've gone over the edges here and there, even in the eye. I don't think that matters. Sometimes I know lots of children get a bit upset when they go over the edges or they make a little mistake. Don't worry about it, just keep on going. Look, I do it all the time and it just adds to the energy of the drawing. I think it's a really nice part of the drawing so don't worry about it if you make a little mistake with your colouring or with your drawing. It's absolutely fine. I do it all the time. So yes, I hope you've had a nice time. I can't wait to see all your different coloured oxes. If you could just get your grown up to take a picture of your drawing and then post it with the hashtag draw with Rob on social media, that way I will get to see it. And I really do love to see all your drawings. It's such a thrill for me to know that you're all drawing along with me. I really, really love it. So thank you to everybody who joins in. Right, all that remains is for me to say a big happy new year to all of you out there who are celebrating Chinese New Year. Um, I've had fun today doing this. I hope you have. I'm gonna be back again very soon for another episode of Draw With Rob. In the meantime, everybody, take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.
it's me. You didn't expect to see me that soon, did you? <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed that video that you've just watched. I can't wait to see the drawings that you've done. Don't forget to share them using the Draw With Rob hashtag. I just wanted to pop up here and remind you that the Draw With Rob activity book is out now if you would like to grab yourself a copy. You can get it from wherever you get books from and it's full of really cool things for you to do, colouring pages, lots of the draw-alongs of your favourite characters that we've done on these videos here. And there's a little frame for you to draw your pictures in, perforated edge so you can tear the picture out easily and stick it up on the wall. But there's loads of really cool things for you to do. As I said, colouring pages, um, little thing. I started drawings off and you've got to finish them, that kind of thing. And then right at the end, if you go through the book and you really enjoy yourself, look, there's even your very own certificate to stick up on your wall to say that you are officially an ace artist. So there you go. That book is available now. I'll stick a link somewhere in the post or on the YouTube page for you if you are interested in buying it. In the meantime, this time I really am going. I'll see you very soon for another Draw With Rob video. Take care.